My son uses the phone in such a different way than I use it. He does his homework on the phone, he communicates with his friends. It's his main computer, so uh, he went to camp for four weeks. He sent me a letter. The most important thing in the letter was, please, when you pick me up, bring my phone, make sure it's fully charged. Check, you know, don't actually turn it on until you're a few blocks away. <laughs> I think you can safely assume that those that are born now or have been born in the last decade, their first entry into the online world, other than the occasional laptop in a classroom, will be through a mobile device. There's an increasing number of incidents where three and four-year-old children are walking up to TVs and doing this, and then saying, what's wrong with the screen? Clearly, tablets and smartphones will be an onboarding system for the youth in the future. My kids for sure must look at me using a smartphone and laugh. This generation is going to grow up thinking and speaking in a language that's different than ours. And so who knows where this is going? This is why it's so exciting. I think smartphones are putting tools in the hands of people that were never there before. When they do move on to a computer, the expectations for what the web is, is probably going to be a lot more powerful than today's web looks like. So I think mobile is going to push web to innovate even more. Today we still live in a world where most people start a company, or certainly in big companies, they start a project and they build it from a web perspective. I think we're in a phase of the game where to build a really beautiful, elegant, enjoyable type application, you've got to start from the mobile perspective first, not try to build it on the web and then migrate over. You're no longer thinking about, you know, websites, you're thinking about services, that are available through apps. Instagram is, and this is not one of my companies, unfortunately, it's just simple, it's beautiful, it's really sort of focusing on the strength of the mobile phone. They're the first, I would argue, who really sort of got what a mobile-focused photo sharing application sort of should be. You can tell that that is an application that was built from a mobile perspective. They might end up having the opposite problem, which is how do I migrate from mobile to a web environment? Because the web is important. As people sort of think about the mobile native experience of how you sort of want to order things, how you want to browse, book things online, find a flight or whatever, that will sort of force a UI UX change upon companies. And the question is, are we going to see a new generation of, of players because of that? Or will, you know, the traditional people, sort of, you know, the Expedias or the Open Tables or whatever, figure out how to sort of move themselves in a mobile world?